What's up guys? I wanted to go over my big knife addiction. Uh, like I've said before, I'm a, I'm a big guy. I like big knives. I do like small knives. There are some small knives that really speak to me, like the Spyderco Techno 1. Big fat blade stock, but you know, with all the heftiness, you wouldn't really call that a small knife. Um, even this one, it's a short little chode knife, but the Boker Excalibur, it's still, it's got that huge fat blade stock. I like big knives. It's always have since the day I started collecting. Almost the biggest, the better. The biggest knife I have is the Spyderco K2. This knife will never leave my collection. I love this knife. One thing about this knife is it's pretty decently thin behind the edge because of the height of the blade. Uh, and it's a CPM 10V. It, things stay sharp forever. I mean, sharpen this thing if you don't use it much one time every 10 years. Uh, on the uh, opposite end of the spectrum, uh, that's more it's a production knife this is a huge custom that i love i just recently acquired this and uh, the doc and the death on contact this is a marfion custom and this is a uh, microtech production knife and they're very very quote close in quality and heft and everything else in my eyes um, there's a spider co magnitude love that knife big old thick fat bladed love 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 that knife the rubicon is very similar um as far as a regular edc the best overbuilt regular edc i found that i love carrying every day you can see it's got some schmutz on there because it just came out of my pocket i carry this knife more than any knife i own uh the uh spider co shaman uh, this one is a regular production version of S30V, and these are the Russian scales that they have on eBay. They are beautiful, beautiful carbon fiber scales. I've done a video, I did a video on this. Uh, they take a little bit of tweaking to get perfect, but for what they cost, they are fantastic. And just like all my other spider clothes, this thing is, you know, drop shutty, flicks out. This is my favorite everyday carry knife. I'm not scared to hurt it or bang on it. Uh, it's not super super expensive, but it's beautiful. Um, I think the guy did a great job with these skills. It makes it a different knife. Um, I consider the PM2 to be an, an oversized large knife, uh, and this copper one is my favorite. Uh, this is not a, a practical knife by any means, but uh, damn it, it sure is beautiful. The the thing about big knives is too also. I'm a knife collector. I like talking about knives. And when I, you know, I'm somewhere in, uh, in front of some guys out working and I pull this knife out, it's going to spark questions. You know, what is that? Where, where did you get that? You know, that, then, then I get a chance to tell people about my passion about collecting knives. And, you know, I can show you a bunch of knives that you're not going to see in a store. You know, a lot of these badass spider codes, you'll never see these on sale for a store, at least not here in Houston. All they have is regular PM2s and every once in a while they may have something a little bit out of the ordinary maybe like a gail bradley uh, but they'll have one and when it's gone they just sell the production because that's what they sell the most of uh the pm2s the you know the chaparrales and things like that all the regular production knives they don't get to see the cool stuff even guys that know a little bit about knives like about boker they're never gonna see the x Caliburn. i mean I, I i'm a collector and i didn't see it till just here recently when it just happened to pass by my desk. Um, anyway, I just think larger knives are cool. Uh, when, they, when they can incorporate a large knife into a really fine, thin, behind-the-edge blade, that's a double bonus. <clears throat> but it's not super important to me. It doesn't have to be. This one's not super thin behind the edge. I, I'm not slicing tomatoes. You know, it's, it may be a little harder to get through some stuff, but I keep a really nice edge on my knives and really, really love that knife. So, anyway, I just want to kind of give you an overview of my large overbuilt knives. And I'm looking at it. It's probably 60% of my collection. But, but the other half, they're definitely not small knives. I mean, the, the Gil Bradley is not a small knife. There's people that would consider that a pretty large knife. And <clears throat> even the PPT, I mean, that's a big old fat beefer with a thin blade. I mean, a lot of the slicey, slicey dicey crowd would like that. 
that's got a super super thin behind the edge blade but all all of my knives have a theme to them they got some heft to them i don't i don't really collect small petite like <clears throat> 940-ish type knives uh or smaller than that uh, just like them big and i uh, wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of of all of them that i had and that's uh that's about it guys i appreciate you guys always watching and listening to me ramble y'all have a great weekend it's beautiful outside god bless have a great day